Hey everyone, welcome back to your favorite pirate crew. Today we are going to talk about Zoro reaching the perfect Asura form. If you would like to see more about One Piece in our channel, please leave your thumbs up and subscribe to join our pirate crew. But pirates, before we continue with the video, I ask that you already subscribe to our channel. That way you will join our pirate crew and earn a devil fruit or master your favorite hacky. It would also help our crew a lot if you leave your like, thumbs up on today's video so together we can become Yonkos. Now let's continue with today's video. Roa Noa Zoro is the swordsman of these straw hat pirates and one of the most important characters in the story of One Piece. He aims to become the strongest swordsman by defeating Dracul Mihawk, the man who currently holds this title, and also make Luffy the king of the pirates. Zoro is one of Luffy's wings and, as such, is someone without whom Luffy cannot achieve his goal. In the country of Wano Ark, he proved this by helping his captain in the fight against Kaido and, later, facing the king, the wildfire of the beast pirates, in combat as well. To defeat him, Zoro had to create a new fighting style called King of Hell, Free Sword Style, which makes him much stronger than ever and also offers new abilities. But after all, what would it take to make him even more powerful if he were able to perfect the King's Haki? Could he officially become the greatest swordsman in the world? Could he then use Ashura's perfect mode? Let's talk about that in today's video. The Nine Sword Style is in addition to Zoro's main Three Sword Style, which uses, as the name suggests, Nine Swords. Thus, the Nine Sword style effectively triples Zoro's potential power. Nine Sword style is an extension of Zoro's spirit and, as the name suggests, involves nine swords. By sheer will, Zoro creates an illusion of two more heads and four more arms appearing on him, which wield copies of his swords for a total of nine blades. At the same time, a silhouette of three heads and six arms appears behind Zoro making him look like a demon god, the mythological Asura. Thus, Zoro's power triples, as he can use his nine swords to slash an opponent three times more than normal and Zoro tends to do so by passing his enemy at high speed. Zoro developed the nine sword style before the two year time skip, first showing the use of it during his intense duel with agent CP9 Kaku. After being overwhelmed by Kaku's fierce attacks, Zoro awakened the nine sword style, which allowed him to master Kaku's most powerful Ran Kyaku and slash the CP9 member. After that, Zoro used his Nine Sword style once again as a last resort against PX4 in Sabaudi while severely wounded, again during the events of movie 10. Post time skip, while fighting on the roof of Onigashima, Zoro used the Nine Sword style for the third time against Emperor Kaido, who was in his half-dragon form and left a permanent scar on the Emperor. Kaido himself noted that how Shokuhaki was used by Zoro to achieve such a feat, although it is not known whether Zoro's pre-timeskip use of the Nine Sword style involved Haki. As with Zoro's other fencing styles, the Nine Sword style includes a number of derivative techniques that Zoro can use after he has created his demonic Nine Sword illusion. The techniques before the timeskip are Kiki Kyutoryu, Ashura, the basis for the Nine Sword style, Zoro, with his Wado Ichimonji in mouth and his other two blades extended in front of him, creates an illusion born of his spirit, according to Kaku. To onlookers, it appears that Zoro has gained an additional pair of heads and four more arms, all wielding duplicates of his swords, each appearing twice more, for a total of nine swords. At the same time, an indistinct silhouette of six Asura arms forms behind Zoro, the same entity he looks like described by Kaku as a three-faced, six-armed demon god. The anime adds even more to the activation of Ashura first seen. Zoro, angered by Kaku, had a dark aura begin to surround him, expanding several meters around where he was standing and causing a swirling gust to form. Ashura is the Japanese term for Asura, a class of demons or demigods in Hindu and Buddhist mythology. Ashura Ichibugin, the first attack derived from the Nine Sword style that is seen. Zoro, holding his sword so that the blades are pointed at the enemy, leaps toward them at great speed, slashes them powerfully with all nine swords at once, and ends up behind the enemy's back, holding his blades in a way that makes them look scattered. The attack was strong enough to disperse Kaku's Rankyaku Amanedachi, his strongest attack, turning the huge cutting wave into mist, hence the name of the attack, before cutting Kaku into his half-giraffe form, finishing him off. This move does not show Zoro attacking his opponent, instead producing a long-range expanding shockwave. Ashura Makusen, an attack similar to Ichibugin, where Zoro in his Ashura state approaches the enemy to consequently slash him with his nine swords, before ending in a stance that makes the blades resemble a wheel shape. The attack was first seen in use against the PX4 pacifist, breaking through its harder-than-steel armor to draw blood from the cyborg. In the anime, the Unlimited Cruise game and the Pirate Warriors games, the move causes Zoro to perform a rotary motion that is not seen in the manga. During his two-year training period with Mihawk, Zoro learned to imbue his sword with Uso Shokuhaki, 
dramatically increasing the power behind his sword attacks, including the Nine Sword style. Furthermore, during the battle, Kaido noticed that Zoro unintentionally incorporated Hao Shokuhaki into his Nine Sword style. Ashura Bake, Moja no Tawamure, literally meaning drawing of the Asura sword, play of the dead. First, Zoro holds Enma horizontally in his right hand, his other swords in his left hand, and mouth as usual, and enters his Ashura state, with a silhouette behind him holding two of his six hands. Admits this, Haki begins to emanate from him as he hardens his sword using Buso Shoku Haki. He then readies his swords, running through his opponents in the blink of an eye, slashing them with incredible force. It was first used on the Emperor Kaido, while in his human dragon form, colliding with him, before giving him a deep bloody cut to his torso. Also, as noted by the shocked Emperor, how Shokuhaki appeared were added to this attack as well, although Zoro was unaware of this, not knowing that he possessed that Haki. Although Zoro was severely injured and intended to knock him out, Kaido recognized that it would leave a permanent scar being the second technique to do so. The name of the attack references Jigoku Bake Moja no Tawamure, a Kamigata Rakugo piece from the Edo period. Instead of the usual Hake, the said kanji are read Bake, with the name of this attack using Bake to play into the pronunciation. Unlike previous uses of the Nine Sword style, the kanji for Asura is accompanied by Hiragana, not Katakana. Despite using the Nine Sword style, Zoro must not yet have been able to reach his peak using Ashura. After all, he should ideally use it over a much longer period, especially giving his opponents an even more frightening aura with a range and power worthy of a vice captain of the Straw Hats. To do this, he should be able to enhance the king's haki, or better known as haoshoku haki. Zoro can use haoshoku haki, a very rare form of haki whose users claim to have the qualities of a king. This power is dormant within Zoro, and he did not know he possessed it. It was first noticed by Kaido after the emperor was hit by Zoro's nine sword style attack. During Zoro's battle against king, when he decided to use his haki, he ended up using it to knock out several low-ranking beast pirates, making him recognize that he possessed it. At the same time, he ended up using his advanced application, infusing it into his three swords, with all three emitted streams of black rays signifying his infusion. As the battle continued, Zoro was able to gain conscious control over the advanced technique, infusing it into all three swords, or infusing it into Sandai Kitetsu to cause significant damage to King. Furthermore, Haoshoku Haki cannot be strengthened through direct use like the other two forms of Haki. Instead, the user can increase his willpower by becoming physically stronger. So while the ability can manifest at a young age, Haoshoku users usually do not consciously manifest and make full use of their abilities until adulthood. The ability to affect someone else depends on the user of the haki having greater willpower than the person against whom the haki is being used. The larger the power gap, the more easily the victim will succumb. Those with stronger wills can resist or even ignore the effects of Haoshoku Haki. A very small number of particularly powerful Haoshoku Haki users, declared to be only a handful by Kaido, are able to infuse it. Their body and weapons with this Haki in a manner very similar to Busoshoku Haki greatly increasing the power of their attacks. After infusing yourself with Haoshoku Haki, the Haki is emitted from the part you are focused on in the form of a black ray. All users so far are extremely skilled in Busoshoku Haki, which can also be used in conjunction with Haoshoku infusion to increase its overall effectiveness. Busoshoku's advanced application of damaging objects without making physical contact with them has often been seen in people using Haoshoku infusion, but should not be considered a sign of Haoshoku infusion by itself, as it has been shown that infused objects can make physical contact with what they attack. Although Zoro is already capable of using this ability, if he were to refine it to the point of enhancing his continued use of Ashura, he would finally reach his peak as a swordsman. Thanks to this power, mastering the king's haki and using the Ashura perfect mode, he would be able to beat even other sea emperors head on. But what about you? Do you think you could reach this level of power? What would be his true peak as a swordsman? Tell us in the comments. That's it my straw hat pirate, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if if you have any suggestions for a video, don't forget to comment below because I'll be reading them all as I always do. Also, don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed the video and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss out on any content from your pirate crew.